<clears throat> Is this the right bag? Yes, the one beside your desk. Good. You can actually take instructions. Uh, where are we going? Be careful of this. It's important. Let's go. I'm actually 3.17 kilograms lighter than when you last saw me. Well, that was a year ago. Better exercise and keep fit, you know? <laughs> yeah. And who is this lovely girl? Oh, her? She's Zoe. Hi, Zoe. You can call me Auntie Marie. Hello, Auntie Marie. Hey, Tan! <laughs> hey, everyone! Hey, Tan is back! Hi, Auntie Fiona. Wow, Xiao Mao. Your hair is so long already. It's Ed Tat la. You don't remember him? Ayya. It's okay. Help me set up by the wooden bench. You know the drill. Here? We're doing the hair here? Look at your hair. It's so messy. And it's covering your eyes. That's why you're rubbing them. I give up. Are your eyes itchy? You know, when I was a small girl like you, I was also scared of cutting my hair. But my mummy told me there's nothing to be scared of because I'm a brave girl. Are you a brave girl? Good girl.
Hi, Auntie Fiona. How about some curls today? Mm. Zoe, meet Auntie Fiona. Hi, Auntie Fiona. She's all yours. I didn't wait a whole hour just to get an average hairstyle, you know? Don't worry, Auntie Fiona. I'm sure you'll look great after this. Zoe will make sure of that. Right, Zoe? Mm-hmm. And you will be responsible if she screws up, right? Of course. I'm her mentor. Uh, may I? Don't be afraid. Just go with the flow. There's a glimmer in your brown eyes. Ten thousand shades of the night. The way you look at me. So darling, hold me tight And never, never let go Treasure every minute we get before we go Perfect. Okay, Aries, now give me smoldering, okay? Good, good, good. Okay, now I want you to look out into the horizon for lonely. I want you to be sad. Okay, that's perfect. Aries. Hey, Gina. How's everything in Taiwan? Just calling to remind you that you've got that radio interview tomorrow at 8 a.m. And oh, the record label is still waiting for your new album. Hope you got something for them to listen to soon. About that, can you give me a little bit more time? Mm, I suggest you pick up the pace a little, yes? Okay, gotta go. Looking forward to you making magic again. Gina, when are you coming? Don't bother. The connection here is non-existent. Did you need to tell your parents you won't be home tonight? Yeah, my dad. Sorry. I didn't expect the queue to be so long. It's okay. So sorry you missed the last boat, Zoe. Let me bring you some blankets for later tonight, okay? Thank you, Auntie Marie. Come, I have a little surprise prepared for both of you. Let me bring it up. Egg tarts for my egg tarts. Oh, they look so good. Wait till you try them. They are the best of the best. So good. Yeah. Don't talk when you're eating. Sorry. So Zoe, I 
you simply going to taste these with your cute eyes? Zoe, tell me more about yourself. Mm, you're training. Can you let her talk? I'm a training. Fantastic. How long? Too long. Has he been bullying you? Mm -hmm. If he bullies you, just tell me. No more egg tarts for him. He needs to learn the proper way to treat a lady. I think you're mistaken. We're not together. Oh, don't be shy. I know it when I see it. So, so, so much better than that. What's her name? Clara. <coughs> Tara. Yeah, much better. <laughs> That's Russell when he was about 11. The poor boy is hard on the outside and soft on the inside, like an egg tart. Thank you. Um, Auntie Marie, how is he related to you? Well, his mom died when he was a little boy and his dad was hardly around. I always wanted children. He was heaven's gift to me. Well, I'm so glad you turned out to be a good man. I never knew he was into gardening. Well, he grew up here. His best friends were bean sprouts, brinjals and tomatoes. <laughs> Who knows if it wasn't for that Karina. He might be trimming plants today, not hair. He doesn't know it yet. But he needs to start pursuing his own dream. Pass this to Zoe. Oh, Last time. Hey. Hey. I guess we're stuck here for the night. Yeah, I guess that's the situation we're in. Stuck. Um, Auntie Marie wanted me to pass this to you. It's lemongrass. The mosquitoes seem to love you here. Thanks. Oh, you can keep it. Really? Yeah. It's for the toothpaste. Or even now. I have to say, I didn't expect this. What? Who would have thought the great Russell actually has a soft side? Wow. You really do think highly of me, don't you? I mean... It tart? Can I call you that from now on? No. Don't. Really? And what are you going to do about that? It tart? I'm gonna get angry. Ooh, it thought gonna get angry. Hey, do you know what happens when egg tarts get angry? What? They explode. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's uh that's excellent. <laughs> How's your hand? Did the toothpaste work? Uh, my hand is fine, but my face still hurts a little. I'll live though. I'm the Night King, remember? I'm invulnerable. 
<laughs> oh, I know what you and the other trainees call me behind my back. I'm not stupid. Oops. But since I'm a forgiving person, I won't take it to heart. I might even spare your life. Well, in that case... Take this! Hey! You're aware these hands are worth tens of thousands, right? Uh, no. Yes? <laughs> Stop! All right, I, I give up. Stop. <laughs> Let me show you something. You know, I planted this myself when I was a child. Look how it's grown. It always tastes sweeter when you plant the fruits of labor yourself. So, why am I really here? Everyone has their own roots. It's their reason for doing what they do. And I thought you needed to know mine. I believe the scissors should not discriminate and that everyone has a right to look their best. So, now that you know a little bit more about me, it's only fair you tell me something about yourself. Why hairdressing? Where do I even begin? Okay, well, you could start with, why haven't you left the training yet? Well, I've always wanted to be a hairstylist because of my mom. She told me that a good hairstyle can change a person's life. She's not around anymore. And this is my only chance to learn from the best. So that I can keep my shop and her dreams alive. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm starting to see how your mom means a lot to you. Like how my Auntie Marie is important to me. At least you still have your dad. He must be proud of you. Is he going to be worried that you're not back? It's fine. He's probably asleep anyway. We don't really talk much nowadays. Why? Is he not okay with you doing this? Is there anything I can do to help? Don't worry. I'm curious. How did the kid who loves plants become the top guy at cutting edge? The hard way. Planting the seeds one at a time. Must be good to know that you're finally enjoying the sweet fruits of your labor. No, not really. Maybe a little at the start, but it fades away. Sometimes, you know, we make plans for ourselves thinking that it's for the best. Yet, we're never fully in control of what the future holds because people change. When you plant a seed, it doesn't always bear fruit.
Bye, have a good morning. Okay. Don't let him bully you, okay? Um, would you like to grab a bite? It pats. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello? Hello? Yes, this is Zoe speaking. What happened to Iris? Kara, you're back. It's never been